I think the problem is that we forget that white people today have the option of tapping out, right? So you can sing Jabulani and you can dance, but then you can also remove yourself from the lived experiences of the culture that it's you're trying. Terrible. I'm sorry, I'm speaking from the from the culture that you're that you're trying to represent. That doesn't make you a bad person. It's just the truth of the situation. And I think in South Africa, this is really what the conversation needs to be about. We need to talk about why did apartheid end? Why did colonialism end? It didn't end because people's perspectives and behavior changed. It ended because it was expensive. It ended because white people couldn't travel anymore. It ended because they couldn't go and play sport, because entertainment for white people was over. Therefore, they needed to bring economy. That's not, we need to be honest. We must be honest about this. So for me, so, so for me, when we want to have this conversation, it's easy to say, let's talk about the Rainbow Nation. Of course you can look forward if your life was never tainted by the, ex by the experience of apartheid. Of course you can look forward. It's not the same. And that's the experience of being black, constant, constantly having to reconcile your existence, reconcile your hum humanity and demand respect and demand a level of, of humanity as opposed to what other people just get automatically by being white. That's the reality. You don't have to label it as racism if you don't want to, but it is what it is. All right.